what is up teacups welcome back to my channel cooking with tea and if you are new my name is tiana g aka t and today i wanted to celebrate asian american and pacific islander heritage month for those of you guys that do not know me very well i am part filipino and black and i wanted to share with you guys a recipe that i've curated over the years and they are my ube pancakes I wanted to highlight ube, it being one of the staple ingredients in the Pacific Islander heritage. If you know, you know. If you don't, you're about to find out. And yes, I thought I was making ube pancakes. Where do they do that at? Nowhere else but here on the Cooking with Tea channel. So make sure you guys tap in and subscribe. Turn the notification bell on. And if you guys do not follow me on Instagram, make sure you guys tap in with me on Instagram at Chef Tiana G. That being said, let's get into it. The recipe is gonna be down below in the deets. That's it. Let's get into it. Let's, let's make these pancakes, let's go. All right, so I have some of the ingredients for our pancake batter laid out here. In this bowl, I have some flour. I'm going to add into it my baking soda and my baking powder. It's gonna go straight into there. Then I'm going to just mix it up Mixy, mixy, mixy. And in this bowl here, I have my homemade ube jam, okay? I use this ube jam to make my ube ice cream. I use this ube jam to make all sorts of fun, delicious ube things. You guys do not have to make ube jam from scratch, but if you guys would like my homemade recipe, let me know down below in the comments. You guys can use ube jam that comes canned like this already. No worries, this will do just fine. I'm going to take some ube jam here and I'm going to add it into my bowl. I'm gonna set that aside. So then after I set the ube aside, I'm gonna take my milk here. I have a mixture of coconut milk and oat milk. And I'm going to add my egg. I'm just gonna whisk it up. A nice mixy mix. Make sure you get that yolk all broken up. Make sure it's nice and voluptuous. So now I'm going to add in that milk mixture we just mixed up into my into my ube jam. I was about to say coconut jam. If you know what coconut jam is. All right, so I'm just going to get this nice and incorporated and all blended up. It's gonna take a while to get it all evenly broken up, but no worries, just keep mixing. I'm gonna go ahead and add my sugar into this ube mixture as well. It smells amazing. Okay, so we're still mixing, we're still mixing. As you can see, there's no more large chunks of ube jam inside there's just tiny little pieces maybe and if that that is all right because we don't mind a little bit of ube chunky jam pieces inside of our pancakes so now that this is all mixed up i'm going to take my dry ingredients here and i'm just going to pour in some of that ube liquid mix inside of our well. You can put a towel down. I should probably put a towel down <laughs> so it doesn't go moving all over the place. But you just wanna start in the center, make a well, try to incorporate that flour in that well like that. Oops, try not to splatter it all over the place like I do. Go ahead, add some more in there. And mixy, mixy, go ahead, add some more. Mm -hmm. I want to make sure I'm getting all of these little great ube bits. So I need a mess. If you didn't learn anything on my channel, you learned that sis be making a mess. Now I'm going to add in some of our melted butter. Not some, but all of them. Adding in our melted butter here. And. So at this point, our ube batter is mixed up, everything is incorporated. It's looking great. So if you would like to get that really deep, deep purple that we see in ube, such as like this ube jam that I have here, if you would like to get a deeper purple, 
You can add just a little bit of ube flavoring if you would like. I'm just gonna add just a tiny, tiny bit. You don't really need much, but I'm just gonna go ahead and add a little bit in there. What this is gonna do is like add the color, but add just an extra layer of ube flavor. Totally optional, you guys don't have to add that extra bit in there, but once we cook these, it's gonna kind of develop a brown layer on the outside and we're gonna kind of lose that purple, but not to worry because we're gonna to top it with a little bit of a purple um, whipped cream. So that's that. So our pancake batter is done, it's set aside. Now we're gonna get into our glaze that's gonna go on top of these pancakes and then we're gonna to get to making the pancakes and it's gonna be amazing. So first things first for our pancake glaze, we're gonna be adding some whipping cream to the mix. Then we're going to be adding sweetened condensed milk that's actually really, really cold. So I'm just going to whip this up. Okay, so in this ramekin here, I have ube flavored sweetened creamer. It's similar to condensed milk, but it's not condensed milk. I'm just gonna add a little splash. All right, so I added just tad bit in there. We're gonna whip this up. Oh, this looks amazing. It actually smells really good. I gave it a taste. The consistency is perfect. I'm gonna let it kick it in the mixer and then we're gonna go make our pancakes. I'm getting my non-stick skillet heated so we can get into making some pancakes. So I'm gonna start by adding a quarter cup of the batter in to a non-stick. I think a quarter cup is like the perfect size for pancakes. If you guys want larger pancakes, you guys can feel free to add more batter or whatever. I think a quarter cup is the perfect size pancake. That's just me though. Um, I kind of want to let it do the thing on its own. I don't want to add too many pancakes to the pan at once. So there's that. Just like any pancake, once it starts bubbling and getting all those bubbles on the outside, you're going to flip it over. So that is what I meant by they're gonna get brown so that purple color will kind of lose itself unless we're cutting into it. But no worries, this looks amazing. This is absolutely perfect. And we're gonna continue to cook our pancakes. I am not making cooking all of this batter today because this is a lot of pancake batter. I'm not gonna cook it all. This will stay in the fridge, okay? This will stay pretty well in the fridge, okay? So you guys do not have to make, you guys can half the recipe in half if you want, but you guys do not have to make all these pancakes at once. I'm just gonna make a stack today. Okay, pancakes, finito. We're gonna go on to the next one. I'm gonna continue to cook the pancakes. Um, and then once I have the perfect stack of pancakes, I am going to show you guys how I play them with our sauce and our coconut flakes, so BRB. The ube pancakes are done being cooked, but we're not done yet. We're gonna top it with that amazing ube glaze that we made and finish it with some coconut. So let's do that. So check it out. Check out this ube, ube whipped cream. Look at that texture, it's so sexy. So we're just going to hit it on top. Mind your mess, mind your mess. It's obviously gonna be a bit messy. So I just kinda wanna keep going until like it looks like one pancake. And then eventually, it's just gonna spill over the sides. It's gonna spill over the sides. Get that ube all over there, just like that. Look. Oh my God. Now that that ube whipped cream is on there, guess what's going on next? Toasted coconut flakes. Toasted coconut flakes. Yes, I said it. All right, this is it. These are the ube pancakes. When I tell you this is my childhood dream, I'm really saying that because it is. Like, so, if you really, really wanted to be a greedy person, you would throw some syrup on here, but, I'm not gonna do that. I'm just going to enjoy them as they are because they are already pretty sweet. 
So I am going to dig into them. Let's cut them. I wish I had, I think about investing in a second camera because I kind of like go back and forth to get different angles. So I want to see you guys. I want you guys to see. I want to see you guys too. But I want you guys to see what it looks like when I cut into them. Let's do that. And that. All right, y'all. Look at that. Mm -mm -mm. Wow. Oops, I meant to zoom out. That is so good. That is everything. I told myself that I wouldn't eat this whole stack. And that I just made this many for my thumbnail. Maple syrup from Chrissy Tracy. <laughs> I'm doing it, I'm being greedy. I'm adding a little maple syrup on there. Am I crazy? Is it too sweet? Am I living my best life? Probably so. Mmm. <sighs> Those little toasted coconut flakes on top are everything though. They just give it this nice texture, crunch, this nuttiness overall. Complements the coconut milk that is inside the actual batter. All right, y'all, those pancakes are absolutely amazing. If you are a lover of ube, just like myself, the chef bay, you're going to love the ube pancakes. And that being said, chef bay out of here. Try these ube pancakes. Recipe is down below in the deets. Do not forget to take photos and tag me on Instagram if you guys decide to make this amazing ube pancake dish. Until next time, you know what it is. Peace, love, and blessings.